I'm Sir Tap Tap, and guess who just recorded a five minute Q&A video without recording sound? All right, let's try that again with sound, shall we? All right, so I've got a few questions, uh, quite a few repeated questions, and I thought I would just shove a sort of like all-encompassing video of the questions I've been getting for the last few weeks since the fall event, basically. Um, and one thing I do want to cover is that uh, a lot of people say like, oh, make more Abyssrium videos, or like, you know, they'll ask, um, I would say that over 90% of the questions that people ask are answered in videos. Um, I do have a playlist full of Abyssrium videos. Um, I'll link that in a little card that you should see on screen right now, unless I forgot to put it on, or at, at, the, at the end of the video, and I'll try to put the description and all of those places. But it's just a playlist full of Abyssrium videos, and I cover pretty much everything. I've covered every single event in the game. You can even check out some of the old events if you're curious. Uh, the Halloween event, which might be repeating. Um, so yeah, there's, there's all those videos you can check out. Pretty much anything that you could ask is probably covered in one of those. Or if you just want to learn more about the game passively, or just watch the game, I don't know. The, the, the whole There's like 40 videos in that playlist now, so they cover a lot of topics. Um, but yeah, so the biggest question people have had is about the Star Stripe Marlin. I even made a whole video on the dumb thing, and people keep asking about it. Let me just say, you're not doing anything wrong. Other than that you're overcomplicating it. The, there's only two requirements for the Star Stripe Marlin. You watch 15 ads for leaves. That's, you go in here, you, may, you watch 15 of these total. No, there's no way to know how many you've watched. You just gotta count yourself. Make sure you've watched at least 15 total. And after the 15th ad, there is a silent invisible timer that starts in the game. When that timer hits increments of 30 minutes, the Star Stripe Marlins might appear. Now some of this is my fault because you know what I did? I assumed the developers would be nice and smart and charitable, and I figured they would give a pretty high appearance rate. I figured that the Star Stripe Island would appear every 30 minutes. This is apparently not the case, because the developers hate us a lot. So the Star Stripe Marlin, uh, actually, if anything, people seem to be finding the Bonito and Star St the regular Marlin more than the Star Stripe Marlin, which is pretty screwed up. Um, but yeah, once you've watched 15 ads, you can stop watching ads. Watching more ads does not do anything. It does not show up after an ad. It does not show up 30 minutes after an ad. Only that 15th ad matters. If you've lost track, or if, you, if you're past the 15th ad, it's basically random. You have no more control over when they'll appear. Um, you've got one shot where you actually know where the timer will be. After you watch the 15th ad, there will be a chance 30 minutes after that it appears. It's not guaranteed. So you're just gonna have to wait and watch. And um, if you hate the Star Stripe Marlin, which you should, uh, what you should do is just go to their Facebook, uh, Abyss Dreams Facebook. It's facebook.com slash abyss saga. Three S's total, abyss and then saga. Uh, I guess that's like their prototype name or something. Um, but yeah, send them a Facebook direct message. Don't send, don't put a post on their wall. Uh, I don't think they read those. Send them a direct message and they don't respond to everything, but I know they read them because they do respond to some support things. So if you want to be absolutely sure the developers actually read uh, and get your feedback, send them that direct message on Facebook. I think you can also use the inbox in the uh, gear menu um, to send them an email. I'm not sure how good they are about reading their email though. Uh, I know they check the Facebook, so that's what I always recommend. Um, speaking of their Facebook thing, I love how it's Abyss Saga. I assume that, like, you know, it's mobile games, right? So there's basically three names that you can make any mobile game. You can either have Tap Tap in the title, which my name is not related to the mobile thing. I, I, I'd pick my name before mobile was even a thing, actually. Tap Taps are little spike ball enemies that are nearly invincible in uh, Yoshi's Island for Super Nintendo. Um, anyway, you can have mobile games that are called Tap Tap X, you can have them that are called X Go, or you can have them that are games that are called X Saga. You used to have XEY, that was a pretty popular one with Flappy Bird, but that meme is pretty dead. So yeah, you can have Tap Tap Go or Saga. I'm just waiting for Tap Tap Go Saga, the, the ultimate mobile game where all mobile games will be crushed into a singular entity called Tap Tap Go Saga. That's probably already a thing. Anyway, got a little off topic there. Um, 
Another question I get a lot is that, oh, are you using a mouse? Are you playing this on your computer? What are you, what's going on here? Uh, so this is called Nox App Player. Just search or tap tap Nox and I show you how to set this up. It's, it's very simple. Um, you can just Google Nox App Player really and install it yourself. It's not really too fancy. It'll run on pretty much any PC or Mac. Um, it also lets you have these macros, which uh, basically you just, you know, you click play, click, click, click around, click stop, and then you can repeat your actions with a click of a button, which is very useful for farming stuff, which is what I do to get my leaves and stuff. Um, yeah, Nox App Player. It'll run on pretty much anything. If you have a laptop, it might, you know, kick your fan into high gear, but you can change some performance settings and stuff. Uh, it runs just fine on my Surface Pro 3, so you can get get it running on most modern things, or most beefy older things, or, you know, pretty much anything, honestly. Um, that leads into, why do you have so many leaves? Well, m one of the things is that I just hoard leaves after the last event. So, leaves, uh, like, event currency do carry over, but, um, yeah, one of the things I do is I do use my macros in here. Because I'm lazy and I'm not going to pay $10 for Midas Tap, which is basically an inferior version of what I just showed you. Um, and I also, after the last event, the last event had cost over 250,000 leaves or cakes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I saved up that amount just in case it cost that much. Because uh, I, I, I want to show everybody all of the stuff as soon as I can. Uh, that's another question I get. Like, how do you have all of this stuff so early? It's like... Well, well, I make guides. Like, somebody asked, how do you have all of this stuff already? And it's like, well, but, but, and it was like on a video where I show you how to unlock all the fall stuff. And they're like, how do you have all the fall stuff already? It's like, but I just, I just did a video that showed you how to get all the fall stuff. W what do you mean? How do you get all the fall stuff? I make guides. I show you how to do the thing. What do you mean? Well, I, I just thought that was like. A kind of baffling question, like... Th that's what I do, I show you how to do the thing, of course I figure out how to do the thing. How else would I show you how to do the thing? I don't... I don't know. Uh, people do send me in information, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, the Abyssirium subreddit, in particular, has been very helpful. But yeah, basically people just... if something's missing in my guide, people send me information. Uh, sometimes if information is not missing in my guide, people send me that information anyway. <laughs> it's not really a big problem, but I would say about more than 50% of the information submitted to my guide is already in there. Uh, now on a related note, I would say over 90% of the questions people ask are either answered in my videos, usually, um, or in my written guide. Uh, if you have missed anything, like literally anything in Abyssrium at all, ever, um, just go to sirtapdap.com slash Abyssrium. That'll take you to my big old Abyssrium guide. It has everything. Trust me, if, any, if anything is worth knowing in Abyssrium, it is in there. It's it's just got everything. I, I don't personally like um, video guides, even though this is basically a video guide. But people ask for them, and I mean, they perform well, and they're not too terrible to make, so I'm happy to oblige. But uh, personally, it's all about written guides for me, because I can read a lot faster than I can watch a video. Um, and you can just zoom right to the part where it has what you want. But yeah, I strongly recommend my written guide, even over watching my videos, honestly, because uh, it's it's up to date. I can keep the written guide up to date a bit faster than I can do videos. And uh, another thing is I can't correct videos. Like, I think I missed one fish in my hidden fish video, and it's got like a hundred thousand views, and it's like. It is 99% correct, and there's no easy way for me to like just make a note. I did pin a comment, but people keep asking about the one fish I missed, and it's like there's no good solution to this. Cause like I can make a new video, but then people won't find the new video. I did a correction for this uh, video called Mitoza. I did a walkthrough, and the audio desynced, and I missed a couple endings, and it was honestly a pretty poor video. Um, so I made a new version, and it was all it was higher quality. Um, it was 60 frames per second, the audio desync was fixed, it had all of the missing endings, and it got less than, uh, it got like 1% of the views of the other one, even though I point everyone watching the old one to the new one, and nobody cares. The old one has the Google juice in it, it shows up when you search, and that's all that matters. Which is why I like my written guides, because I can correct them. 
Anyway, a little bit of a tangent there. Um, let's see, what else do people ask? Um, star marlin, leaves. I think that's pretty much most of the things people have been asking. So let me show you another interesting little thing. Eh? Oh, oops. That's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. So, uh, a little bit ago, I showed you um, a space theme, which is basically a placeholder. It's not something you can actually use without harming your game, because you kind of gotta... It's basically a placeholder that shows up when you have the fall theme, but you have downgraded to a version that does not contain the fall theme. And if you do that, you'll lose all of your fall fish. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is a space theme that's basically hidden or like, a, it's like a debug theme. Think of it like that. Um, it's not tied to an event yet. But the interesting thing is this is not the version that I showed you last time. Um, so they've made some kind of change to it in a certain version of the game. So... I always thought it was weird that they said it was a test theme because that's pretty fancy for a test theme. Um, and for them to have updated a test theme, and they also said that there's little uh, shooting stars in the background, which sounds awesome. I wish they had a video of it instead. Um, I'm unfortunately not sure if I'll be able to get a video of it for you, but uh, it sounds pretty neat. And it sounds like if they're editing it, I have to assume that's gonna be an event eventually. Maybe not the next event, but I, I think it might happen. Oh, speaking of events, um, so it's been circulating on Facebook that they, they told somebody that we may actually be getting the Halloween event after the fall event, which is really weird, but I'm okay with it, I guess. It does, I'd rather have the event be in the wrong month than not have the event. But uh, yeah, Halloween might be happening, so that's pretty cool if true. I'll see it when I believe it, but yeah. Any other questions? Oh, if you wonder who Parker is or what the weird cat noises in my video are, I have a big old playlist full of Parker videos. He's a very helpful, very friendly cat. Um, oh, right. Um, a lot of people ask how long the fall event lasts. The short answer is we don't know. The long answer is events are usually three to four weeks. Usually four. Um, and then the last two weeks or one week, there'll be a little timer in the game that says when it's going to end. And we never know when it's going to end until that timer shows up. So, don't panic. It's not going to end all out of the blue, but uh, probably a full month. It seems their update cycle is, is, uh, is on a monthly basis at this point, which makes sense. But yeah, it seems like they're alternating between fusion fish this month. Um, then uh, an event the next month. Though if they're gonna do Halloween, I assume next month is Halloween and then maybe Christmas. I don't, I don't know the exact cycle. We, they, they don't tell us things in advance, like ever. So that's always fun. Um, hmm. I guess since a lot of people, I don't know why people keep asking about the light jellyfish. I guess it's because you can see it even if you don't have any hidden fish. But yeah, the light jellyfish, you need the star striped marlin. Like, this is one of those things where it's it's in a video. So if you want to know how with all the fall fish, there's a video that's literally titled how to get all fall fish. Uh, spoilers, but you watch that video, it, it tells you how to get all the fall fish. This is one of those things where, again, I understand that videos aren't always as easy to get around with. But yeah, that's why I would strongly recommend reading my written guide. Just so tap tap .com slash abyssrium or search. It's actually the top results, the top non-app results if you search for abyssrium. It's pretty easy to find. Oh, and uh, some people have some weird conspiracies. Like I said, with, with, the, with the Star Strike Marlin, people always have conspiracy theories about the Marlin stuff. You don't, you don't need this, the uh, Blue Table Coral or the Star Horn Coral or anything. Nothing in the event ever depends on your progress in the fish tab or anything. Oh, hello, bug. So somebody else reported this bug earlier where the fusion fish tab was blank. Um, I'm not sure why that happens, but the fusion fish were not removed or anything. Uh, fusion fish are an online only aspect of the game. So I bet, I, 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 I bet you if I close this and open it back up, I bet it'll be back. If you have bugs, like I said, tell the developer 
most of the time I can't actually do anything about bugs. Like there's usually not any kind of workaround. Usually Cheetah Mobile just broke the game and you gotta tell them to fix it because only they can do anything. I wish I could fix the game. If I had access to the source code of this game, a lot of things would be different, let me tell you. For one thing, I would remove the freaking Gashapon crap, and then I would immediately get fired for doing that. And I would fix the stupid Star Strike Marlin. Um, what I always thought the Marlin should do is that every 30 minutes, if you miss the check, the chance should increase. So eventually, every 30 minutes, there's a guaranteed chance to get them. See, that, that's what I said. The, the, the Fusion Fish are back. It's just a little bug. Closing the game will usually fix most of your bugs. Closing the game and making sure if you have a solid internet connection. You know, that's that's the hip thing in mobile games, is to make everything require an internet connection. It's, uh, bleh. Anyway, that is pretty much all of the, uh, questions people have had lately that, that keep being asked. Hopefully, that leaves you a little bit older and wiser. I am SirTapTap, and... I'll see you next event.